Christmas time is absolutely wild for author marketing. So if you're new in the publishing space, this is what you need to know. Even if you're established, you might not be super aware of this if you haven't had a ton of experience with this or a lot of people educating you on this. So here's the deal. When it comes to marketing at Christmas time, your sales will be different than usual and they may be all over the place. So there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind so that you can prepare properly, so that you're not discouraged, so that you can make the money that you can make during this time. Christmas time is very different. We either expect it to be super high because it's Christmas and everybody's buying Christmas stuff or super low because it's Christmas and everybody's buying Christmas stuff. And you kind of have to find that sweet spot in between those places if you want to market well. At Christmas time, most people are not buying for themselves. So if you're marketing saying you need to read this book, you need to buy this book, it's probably not going to work to your benefit because people are not buying fun things for themselves. They are using their money to buy gifts for their friends and family. So they're not going to do something that is considered more selfish or more for just them. You can kind of market it as this is the gift you want this year and have them put it on their wish list. Maybe you'll get some sales, maybe you won't. But for the most part, if you market as you need to read this book, it's not going to serve you because nobody's buying for themselves. If you lean heavily into this is the best gift to give or the best gift to get, you might get somewhere. So now you want to lean heavily into, well, for your friends who love to read or your friends who are trying to get into reading or whatever it happens to be, this is the gift to give them. This is the gift everybody wants this year. This is the thing that's going to make their faces light up on Christmas morning when they unwrap this book and they get this. This is making you a really good gift giver. Smart gift givers are using this as a present this year. You can also lean heavily into this is the book you don't want to miss, but I know you can't get it for yourself right now, so put it on your wish list. This is the it book of wish list season. You want to lean heavily into the side of, I know you're not doing this for yourself, but here's something you can give to others or here's something you can ask for that makes other people feel good because my gosh, let's talk about gifts, right? People want to do something that's going to make people's faces light up, but they also want to feel good about what they're giving them, especially if it's like, parents and teens, especially if it's younger people. Let me tell you a little story. When I was signing books at New York Comic Con right before that pandemic hit and closed everything down, I had a ton of sales from dads bringing their daughters to New York Comic Con. These parents brought their young teenagers, college age kids to New York Comic Con, which inherently feels more like a fun activity where we're going and we're doing like TV and movie things. It's not as educational. So believe me when I tell you these men, especially sometimes the moms, but like when these dads spotted my table with books, educational things, smart things, things that feel more elite, they carted their daughters right on over and said, pick a book, baby. Here you go, sweetheart. Pick pick a book or two. Your mom's going to be so thrilled that I took you to like some Hollywood type event where we're binge watching TV and we're Netflixing all this stuff. And I bought you something that is like higher level. It's more educational. I don't know that my books are educational, but like books read as scholarly. Books read as you know, TV's down here. You're just binge watching. But book reading, that's an elevated practice. So when we can pitch our books as like the elite it wish list thing this season, that's going to work in our favor. So your book sales during the holidays are going to be all over the map because you're going to get some sales for like wish list stuff, but you're also going to see a major drop because the people who are typically buying your things are not because now they have to spend their money elsewhere and they have to wait to see what they're going to get for Christmas, right? But don't get discouraged because we're going to see it's, it's a roller coaster in November and December leading up to the holiday season. After holiday season, like we're talking December 26th, 27th, this is when you can leverage a lot of book sales because now people have that freedom. And not only that, they got money for Christmas that they can now spend. It's burning a hole in that pocket. And people got e-reader devices. So now not only do they have money to spend, but they now have devices to read on that they have to fill up because they have to use their brand new gift. So right after Christmas is when we see things start to take off again. But you have to remember, it's this weird wobbly time between Christmas and New Year's. 
So there's a lot going on. This is an incredibly valuable time to market and to be in your community and to be talking up your stuff. A lot of authors aren't going to do anything because they're in holiday mode. They're chilling and they don't want to do the work. So now you have more opportunities to be seen, more reasons to be purchased. And it's just a really great time to like lean heavily into that marketing. So your sales in November and December will be all over the map. And it depends on how well you market, who you're marketing to. If you can be highly present on social media, you could potentially do very well. But you have to take all of that into consideration while you are planning what you're going to be doing. And understand, people are not buying for themselves. They are buying for other people. And they are putting things on wish lists. And after Christmas is when they have that freedom again to make the choices for themselves. So that is a good time to push. So drop your questions list down below. Follow along for more. I'm here every single day helping you navigate the world of publishing from your writing to your publishing to your marketing as a multi-time best-selling author who's been in this game for many, many years and has worked in this industry for a long time before that. We can break down your questions and answers in the upcoming episodes and get ready because we're in holiday mode, which means not all of my videos will be holiday themed, but we're going to talk about holiday marketing. We're going to talk about holiday books. I am really excited. I'm really excited to decorate and I've got some really cool things coming up on the channel that will be launching over the next couple of weeks. I cannot tell you, but I have been secretly working on four really big projects, most of which are for this channel. And these could potentially be some game changing things. I cannot wait to show you. Come back for more and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode.